guys, don't miss heaven. Don't miss heaven. So are we on? I just want to make sure we're on. Okay, I see the blue light. All right. I see a blue light. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, welcome, 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 welcome. Hello. Hello to everybody. Welcome to Higher Place Church here in our home in Tennessee. So um, I want to get right into this. It's a lot of information here. And uh, I want to, I, so I want to bring this up. Um, somebody recently addressed uh, my hand on the new album cover. Guys, you guys know we have a new album. It's called Back to the Gospel. You can find it at digital stores. Also on our website, AngelaAndVeronica.com. Uh, if you want to check out this ministry, you can go to HigherPlaceChurch.com. So... Again, we want to welcome everyone. Just want to make sure everybody's well, social distancing. And uh, <laughs> you like that mask? It's a new mask. Yeah. Are we just both going to read from here? Because I don't have an iPad or anything. So, oh. But that's okay. No, that's, right here. that's okay. So, so, so here's a story. Um, somebody uh, addressed uh, the new album, my hand on the album cover. And guys, you're going to need to refer to the to the YouTube version for this uh, for this message in particular because we're going to have a whole lot of photos and stuff and there's no other way um, okay, that's not it. There's no uh, there's no other way that that we're going to um, that you're going to get the most out of this video but with photos. So somebody addressed my hand on, uh, on, uh, on, the, on the album cover. And uh, so it was really interesting to me uh, because they Im implied that I was in a secret society. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and that they thought I might I'm be sure doing... I'm sure you were. That I thought they thought I might be doing the 666. Well, I used to be a Catholic. <laughs> oh, well... <laughs> Yeah, but even the Catholics don't know what they're doing. <laughs> I'm serious. The only so people that know are the leaders, the ones that are that right, are, are right. that are trying to deceive others. They're not telling you what they're de what they're deceiving you of. Yeah, they're not so going to tell you. So this person thought I might be doing the six six six. Okay, hand sign. And guys, we're going to show all these all these photos. Okay, so um, so this was very ironic to me uh, because uh, we've talked about the issue of secret societies here at 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 Higher Place Church in this ministry and and we've talked about and hand signs make, in particular. Why would you preach on something that nobody's preaching on? <laughs> Nobody. Okay, no, no, I'm not, it's not to brag or boast because no, we can no. boast of nothing. Mm -hmm. yeah, but the know. reality yeah, is nobody's talking about this issue Okay? Nobody's saying anything. So why would you why would you preach about something, exposing it, and then be part of it? Well, but in the Hegelian I mean, dialectic, um, there is there is controlled opposition okay. and through uh, through Christian conservatives. So I mean that that actually is a real thing, but yeah, exactly. I know. I mean, I mean, here right. at Higher Place Church, yeah, I, know. I know. You know, it's like we, you know, and, 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 I, and I want to make this very clear. I'm not yeah. offended by that. Yeah. But yeah. what I am concerned about is, are you getting the truth? And when you take the truth and you know that we're telling you the truth, and then you confront us on something that's that that we've been preaching yeah. on. In other words. Have more information about Angela and Veronica being part of a social society or whatever, a secret society, than just one photo. Right. We're not, right. We, you, mm -hmm. know, you know, and I don't want to be one who accuses somebody yeah. of, you know, of, okay, you've done this yeah. sign. How many people have done this? We've done this a million times in our life, I'm sure. Okay. Now, this one here, <laughs> I mean, come on. Stop right, the let's, stupid. Let's start from, right, the, let's start from the beginning right. um, because... Uh, no, you know, and I just want to say, <laughs> no, I, I have no problem with somebody confronting us because yeah. we encourage that. We encourage people to say, you know what? If there's something that looks wrong or we said something that was wrong, we want to address it and make it right. Let's get that straight. Now, that being said, you know, 
what you're going to confront us on, have your facts in order. Have it be, be, be very specific that, okay, this is, Veronica, that's really off, right. you know. And I just want to say this is a longtime follower of our oh, music. Oh, yeah, we love her. And a super amazing person. person. Absolutely. And, and as sweet and, as and, can and be. And this is not beat on, so her, on this so person. So I'm so glad. No. I'm so, but I'm so glad that this came up because it gives us an opportunity. To m- clarify it. To clarify and to, th- and to speak about this once again that we've well, we have talked about Well, we need to speak about it. Many we times. Need, well, well, we right. need to. And everyone will see why. And so if you get to the end of this message... Guys, you will really understand why this yeah. is so important. Yeah. And we love, we love you. Yes, uh, let's yes. Let's get that straight. That's right. Um, these things, so oh guys, these things are very true um, about secret societies, uh, such as fraternities, sororities, Freemasonry, okay, which I'm going to explain exactly what that is. For actually, you know what? I'm just going to tell you right now. Freemasonry is a fraternity within a fraternity, an outer organization concealing an inner brotherhood of the elect. The Invisible Society is a secret fraternity dedicated to a mysterious secret. Hmm. Now, that's not no mumbo jumbo. That's from a 33rd degree mason, which is um, supposedly the highest degree, and that is by Manley P. Hall. Uh, lectures on ancient philosophy. Hmm. Okay, so that is their definition. Okay, of who, of who they are. So, right. um, so what is it? You two has a song. Sh- she moves in mysterious ways, um, and there's like that saying, uh, "God moves in mysterious ways." No, well, I believe that that's where that actually comes. Is that from. A, is that out of the Catholic Bible? <laughs> Is that what that, that, that is? Uh, God moves in mysterious ways, a- able so to perform his service. To, what is it? What, that foolish that Dolly Parton oh, said? Oh, I don't know. I don't. Uh, with King of Queens video. Of the, uh, really? Come on, man. So these things, so there, guys, there is truth in, in these. I, I didn't want to really mention names, well, name names today, no names. but we're going to no put up photos. Read between the lines. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so, Fraternities, sororities, Freemasons. Guys, you know you know who you are who are part of fraternities and sororities. Hold on, just one I, I just want to make this clear. If I mention a name, if I mention a name which I just mentioned a name, I've confronted these people. So it yeah. wasn't like I'm talking about them or gossiping about them. They avoid me like the plague, as they should, because if and I said, if you're not doing anything wrong, why are you running? In other words, if you're so right, why are you running? Well, you know, just you know. Have a defense for your foolishness, okay? Okay, because I have a defense of the gospel. You should have a defense for your foolishness. So, and again, make it clear. If I mention a name, I've confronted this person or try to make an attempt to confront this person. We're not confronting people, and we're not talking about people just to beat people up. Right, but the point here today is we want people to see it for with their own clarity eyes to get clarity so that you can see it right don't so take you, anybody's word for it right not even ours not even ours right and in we other want words people to see it with their own eyes and we want you to get understanding mm-hmm. of this yep it's very important for your soul and for your christian yep. walk with the That's lord right. for your faith walk so it's very true that secret societies have very significant hand signs this person made a very very valid point mm. They have very significant hand signs that they use for recognition. However, now here, here's the, the, well, the not so tricky part because the Bible makes things very, very clear. Um, that's not the only sign of being part of a secret society. So someone could be imitating True. their favorite celebrity True. or their favorite sports figure. Right. Okay. So let's make that clear and just doing it, not knowing what it really means, okay? Well, that's so, being ignorant. Yes, yes. So that's why we want to impart some of this knowledge today. Right. So that people will not continue. And they can make to a choice to whether to do it yes. or not do it. An informed decision, yes. Correct. So, so that's not the only sign of being part of a secret society. Jesus said, and we say this all the time, you will know them by their fruit or fruits. Mm -hmm. So guys, you will know them 
by their secret lives, by their double lives. They're double agents. They live double lives. Right. Let me explain this. We're going to explain all of this. Um, so not that you know about what they do in secret, but here it is. Being part of a secret society will always lead to secret sin. Mm. Secret sin will always lead to bad fruit. So Jesus said, you will know them by their fruit, the bad fruit. And you will know a good tree by its good fruit. Right. Period. Right. This is how right. you know. And, and see, so you, you understand, let's go back to the music industry for one second. Because people say, well, I was then back, back to the gospel doing well. Back to the gospel, you know, it's just going to do what it's do because we're not part of the industry. And see, and part of the Freemasonry is one of the things that they promote is the traveling guy, one who travels. So in other words, in order to be successful with these groups that, that come up with their new songs and new albums, they must travel. So they have to go from church to church to place to place, from city to city, leave their families, leave their homes to go out and do their work for their music in order to sell it. They can't stay at Higher Place Church in a, in a home and expect them to be successful because the Freemasonry expects you to do your work, which is a traveling man. So if you're a musician, you must travel. I'm not saying all, all musicians are Freemasons. That's not what I'm saying. Right. But I'm right. saying... We're talking about specific artists that we know personally. Again, we know from experience. We're yep. telling you out of experience. We're not gossiping, and we're not ca casting fire down on somebody. No, we're telling you the truth as we know them. As we know it, yeah. And as we know it. Right, right. right. Because there are people who have admitted it to us. Correct. In, I mean... Okay, so True, so it. so here's here's what I want to say as well. Mm -hmm. um, so men and women do g become a part of this anyway, in spite of what I just explained. They do it anyway because, and here's a really good definition that I actually heard on a uh, a different world uh, sitcom, which was all about Greek society. Right. What do you think? I'm thinking, why are we doing this whole pledge thing? Because of the two B's, brotherhood and business connections. Yeah, which lead to big bucks. <laughs> Don't forget the three D's, delightful Delta Ducks. Uh, Delta Ducks, lots of Delta Ducks. You guys are giving me the two H's, horrendous headache. <laughs> Testing our loyalty to each other, Dwayne, I think you're losing sight of the big picture. Oh, am I? Yes, as led the news, we're going to be part of a nationwide brotherhood for the rest of our lives. Wherever we go in this country, someone's going to be looking out for us. Do you want a nation of Sammy Clammies looking out for you? <laughs> When you're a Lambda New, people look up to you. How are they going to look up to me? I'm walking around like a duck. I can't even look up to myself. My father would not be in business today if it were not for his Lambda New brothers. Look, I would never lick anybody's boots to get a job. Now, are we out? And he explained it perfectly. He said, brotherhood plus business equals big bucks. Brotherhood mm. plus business equals big bucks. In, in, or, in other words, being part of these fraternities, sororities, and this Freemasonry will uh, uh, help you in your business in, business in order men. to bring in money. That's right. That's where that phrase came. Because in secret societies, mm. they are obligated to assist one another. Absolutely. You That's understand? how you become so successful. So their brotherhood is going to take precedence over anybody else. Yeah, you don't get successful because you're the most talented or you sing better or you play better. That's or right. You, you know, no, most of these musicians that I know personally never went to college, never studied, and you can tell by their singing how they, you know, they go and they have to get surgery after being, having, after winning a Grammy, they go to go get surgery in their voice to continue their foolishness. So to get ahead in the world. Right. In all Industry, guys, and so here's here's the here's the thing that we we want to bring up in all industries, including Christian and gospel. And this well, is that's the, what I'm specifically this talking is the about. shocking truth that we discovered only six or seven years ago. True, but, but, but you know? what I'm saying is this is what Paul's plight was. Yeah. His plight was 
the ones that say that they're Christian. Christian, I know. He wasn't talking about the Gentiles. He was talking about the ones who said they were Christian. Yeah, yeah. He said, oh, but I'm a Christian, but I, can lie, but I enjoy my sin. And Paul was pointing them, calling them out. Like he said in, you know, Ephesians 5.11, do not partake in unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. <laughs> so he was on a mission to exposing sin so that maybe they would get saved. That was the whole thing with Paul. Right, right. It wasn't to be mean, just like here at Higher Place, we're not trying to be mean. We're trying to love you to the truth. Right. And truth is hard. Sometimes it's hard. So, so to get ahead in the world, in all industries, including Christian and gospel, yeah. and even, guys, many church circles, all right? So I, wa I want to say this and, and, and repeat what we just said about people doing hand signs, just imitating others. Be careful to do that because they definitely mean something when they when hand signs are done repeatedly and intentionally mm. and deliberately right. okay and again you're going to see what we're talking about mm -hmm. so so i, I just want to reiterate this <laughs> i am not making any intentional hand sign on that album cover and the the photographer who is actually a long time uh uh, for ta uh, he took our first, first album four cover. yeah. album covers, and we just happened to know him. He's a great celebrity photographer. Very talented. And um, he actually just told me to run my hand through my hair, which I, r I can't even do, but he told me to run my hand through my hair. That so was a suggestion. That was what he suggested. You heard him, yep. and he said it a, a few times, and... And and I'm like, well, maybe it's just so so I did it. So did I did it. it. You he, know, maybe it relaxes. The it relaxes your face or something. I don't know. I'm I'm not sure why he said that, but he did. And we actually chose those photos where he made that suggestion. Right, because the other pictures, you know, we we hated. So you know, I mean, well, I look good well, in all the well, guys. You know what? I look good in all the photos. She kept wrecking them. So <laughs> when it. <laughs> But, it, yeah, but, but I mean, we, we, we both hate photo shoots. Yeah, and, but now, okay, no, no, let me get this straight now. <laughs> Hold on. So he tells her to do this, okay? Now, <laughs> if he had said to Veronica, look, can you just hold your hands around your neck like this, do this? Or can you do this? Or can you do this? Or can, you know, what, can you do, can, <laughs> yeah, can, yeah, yeah. now if he told us something deliberate that we yeah. know would yeah. be, Absolutely, blatantly yeah. wrong. Yeah, I would have said, "Oh no, no excuse I don't, me, I don't no, do we that. don't do. We, yeah. No, we're not going to do that." Okay. Now, I mean, it was really harmless what you did. <laughs> Extremely well, well, harmless. Well, here's the thing: in the back cover of the album, uh, which was taken, I mean, these these photos were like back to back. I I believe in in the oh, in order. Yeah, in yeah, the yeah, order yeah, yeah, of yeah. the photo of yeah. order of him taking the photos. Sure. So. You can clearly, in the back cover, you can clearly see what I was doing with my hand. Now, you said one lady commented that it looked like, oh, well, I'm sorry, my left hand. She said it commented like I was showing off my ring. Like she was bragging about was, your ring. That I was married. And right. So I thought that's that was what I really saw. cool. No, but that's what I saw when I first looked at the photo. I didn't say, yeah. oh, she's doing, she's flashing a 666. No, no, first of all, <laughs> if she was going to be oh deliberate God. about her 666, yeah. she would have went like this. Yeah. She yeah. would have went like Marvin Sapp and his noop sign that he does. Okay? But I'm just telling right, you. We're going we're gonna to show all these photos. Yeah. Yeah. And the photos are yeah. important. <laughs> no, no, hold on. But it's, with some of these guys, it's not just the photos. It comes out of their mouth what they are. Yeah. yeah. It's not just the pictures. Yeah. You've got to do your homework when it comes to these artists because they're real clever. And some of them are really good at hiding mm -hmm. and, and deceiving you. And you've bought into their lies because you enjoy their singing. I've enjoyed their singing. I've enjoyed their music. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I've made but a choice. But you'd be surprised how proud they are of oh, yeah. their fraternities and their sororities and will speak openly about it and have. And I believe some of them yeah. don't even realize what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. Seriously. I think so, too. I think so, too. So, again, Freemasonry is a fraternity within a fraternity. Guys, it is the original fraternity. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So that's where fraternities and sororities that's come yeah, from. That's the, the roots. That's the roots. That's the roots. Yeah. 
Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Confucius said, signs and symbols rule the world, not words nor mm. laws. So in the world of the occult, signs and symbols rule. See, in the kingdom of God, his word rules. Mm. Yeah. So there's a, there's a huge difference, Big difference between the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of light. Okay? Um, it says here, uh, Juan Mahler, Argentinian author and Masonic researcher, for the members of the secret societies, the hand sign is used as a sign of recognition by those who are in a leading position or who have a mission to fulfill. So they are... An agenda. There is an... Ad right. There's a mission behind right. this, and there is, they want to know who is who. It's a sign of recognition. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the hand is important in Freemasonry, also fraternities and sororities, for the purpose of giving and receiving modes of recognition. Guys, this is in a, in an, a Masonic encyclopedia. That is from Coyle's masonic encyclopedia this this stuff is absolutely undeniable okay so if anybody laughs at you you can laugh right back because this is undeniable all right yeah and, 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 and we've had people say that angela and veronica are crazy i said no sir you're crazy for yeah. being a part of it that's okay right. and, and you're not right. going you know, here's one even a step further you will never inherit the kingdom of heaven it's not going to happen. So you, if you think you're going to heaven, right. being a part of this, you're very much deceived. You're not going to heaven. Yeah. And this one person blocked me for for a life, and I said, "Well, it's sad because I'm not only I'm not only am I not going to see you here, but I'm not going to see you when I leave here." That's sad. So in Freemasonry, um, in Freemasonry, the hand as a symbol holds a high place. The same symbol is found in the most ancient religions. Guys, this goes back to Babylon, okay? Which, again, the Bible speaks about. This goes back to Egypt. This goes back to Babylon. And again, this is um, from volume one of Albert Mackey's Encyclopedia mm. of Freemasonry. Again, this is undeniable stuff, all right? Um, so... Tex Mar, Tex, Tex Mars from Codex Mahaka, um, wrote a book called Secret Signs, Mysterious Symbols, and Hidden Codes of the Illuminati, okay, or for those who are illuminated. Um, he says here, the secret hand signs of Illuminus are thought to work magic, to evoke supernatural beings, and of course to communicate messages. For example, the higher degree Mason... There's different degrees of masonry. The higher degree mason, Rosicrucian, or other illuminists can discern at what ritual level a brother in the craft is, um, ha is at by testing his handshake or grip. It is therefore an impo important mode of recognition. Again, sure. recognition. The, co uh, the commonly used phrase, get a grip, mm has wow. Masonic origins. Get a grip. Yeah. The and handshake. You know, we want, we, and we've all seen leaders of the world do their Masonic handshake. Even some of our famous evangelists do the famous handshake because they're Freemasons. Okay. Yeah. yeah. If That's you, why they do I mean, it. if you want to see Masonic handshakes, yeah, right. Ro watch the news or just watch television, period. Yeah. And I mean, you'll see all the signs. I see it all the time now. Once you l learn to recognize it, then you see it everywhere. And it blows your mind yeah. when you see it. Cause yeah, and it saddens so you yeah, when you know some of the people that we know personally, and they're part of it, and you go, and then I've confronted them, and they go, oh, no, they're not. And I go, yeah, they are. 
And remember, Altian Childs, mm. uh, uh, X Factor X Factor winner, mm -hmm. came out and did an incredibly, in, yeah. in amazing, yep. an elaborate job on explaining Freemasonry. Incredible and job. He said that every entertainer and prominent person in society must be initiated into Freemasonry in order to get up in the ranks and in order to be successful. Well, how else can you be successful? So, and he was a Freemasonry. He denounced it, and he is now Fun saved and come come to the Lord. Fantastic! And it's it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, he's Australian. So, you know, which you know. yeah, the ha so the handshake or gripped is a sign of unity because that's a big big message. Okay, the big message in this sign group that, I'm, that I conf that I that I exposed well, earlier. It's all about unity. Yeah. yeah, hold on. A sign of unity, yeah. oneness yep. of purpose and allegiance or devo devotion to joint cause. Mm. It is considered a bond or or seal of acknowledge acknowledgement between a luminous brethren. And mm. again, this is a foremost authority, Tex Mars from the from his book Codex Mahaka. So Proverbs wow. six, twelve, and thirteen. So here's what the Bible says about this. It says here, uh, Proverbs 6, 12, and 13, a worthless or naughty person, a wicked man, walks with a perverse or froward mouth. Okay, so these, I'm just uh, explaining the, the King James words. Um, worthless, naughty, or perverse, froward. Verse 13, he winks with his eyes, he shuffles or speaks, speaketh his feet, he points or teaches with his fingers. Mm. So this is, this is what the Bible says, Proverbs 6, 12, and 13. So that's, that's, what, that's what's going on, is that they're teaching and telling you what it is with their hand signs and sure. other signs and symbols, sure. okay? Signs, numbers, and symbols mm -hmm. is, what, is what they use. And they're telling you what's really going on. Mm -hmm. So they could be speaking something that's complete opposite of what their hand signs are saying. And we all know that kind of with body language. You know, when we're saying one thing, but our body language says something else. Mm -hmm. Okay? So hand signs. The OK sign. And again, we're going to have all, all these photos ready for you on our, in our YouTube version. Okay, the OK sign. In the Illuminous philosophy, the OK sign becomes a sign indicating a ap approval of the divine king. Now, that's not our, our king, okay? Their coming Lord of light, whom we as Christians know as Antichrist. To them, it means he approves our undertaking. This meaning is roughly equivalent to the words in Latin atop of the all-seeing eye of Osiris on our U.S. $1 bill, annuet coeptus. Okay, so he approves our undertaking. So that's one meaning of the okay sign. Now, in Satanism, there's, a, there's a, another meaning, but similar. Um, so, so different groups have slightly different meanings, but it all means the same thing, mm -hmm. okay, if that makes any sense. So in Satanism, when making this sign, the three fingers not used to make the circle are considered a symbolic, are, are considered symbolic of the unholy trinity, horned god, goddess, offspring, antichrist. Mm -hmm. Some go so far to adopt the view that the bent three fingers are shaped as three sixes or six 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 as the book of revelation explains mm -hmm. thus we have six 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 the sun deity lucifer the goddess mystery babylon the great mother of harlots and the beast antichrist six 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 all in one unitary hand sign guys this is all things from the word of god and that's also by tex mars codex mahaka okay so going on to El Diablo, mm. El Diablo. So El Diablo is, uh, yep, you'll see the hand sign right there. The sign of El Diablo, the horned devil, mm. okay, which El Diablo means devil in Spanish. 
So that's already not a good sign. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, the horned devil, also known as a sign of uh, cornudo and diabolicus. Again, not And, we, not and we've seen these signs at rock concerts, you know, yes. Kiss, you know, you know, Prince. All you, we've seen yep. them, uh, and you know, and you know the symbol. I'm not going to yep. make it, but I did it. They'll there. be able to see it. They'll be able to see yeah. it. It began in the modern era. So this is what Tex Mars says. It began in the modern era with the followers of satanic cults, the members of the official church of Satan, and heavy metal rock music bands came after. So, guys, why would you do a hand sign <laughs> that comes? Well, now you know that it that it came out of satanic cults and that it came out of the church of Satan. So why, why would you do that? Well, because either you want to belong or you want people to like yeah, you yeah. or, you know, oh, I, I'm ministering because I can, if I do the sign, they'll like me and I can minister the gospel. And, so, and maybe people just don't know. Maybe they, they just don't know. But now you know where these hand signs come from. So stop the stupid. So... Yeah. <laughs> People that are, now this is an interesting quote, people that are Christians now but were Satanists mm. recognized President Clinton's signal at mm. his inauguration as a sign of Satan. Mm -hmm. That seems fairly cut and dried, and it is. And he's pretty perverse, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Clinton communicated what he wanted to the people to whom he wanted to communicate. The mm -hmm. whole affair with him flashing the Satanic hand signal took place. Only a couple of seconds, and that is another authority. Yeah. His name is Fritz Springmeier from Bloodlines of the Illuminati. Um, so I didn't personally see that, but um, I, I believe I believe that. Well, and most yeah. most of our presidents are Freemasons. That's right. In fact, if you look at Washington D.C., it was designed by Masons. The whole construction of the city yeah. was Masonic. Yeah, that's a fact. You know, and it blows my mind how ignorant we are as Christians that we don't even look at that. We don't even think about it. We don't even, we can't even consider, well, it's just, or it's just history and it's art. Okay, okay. Meanwhile, they're out to destroy Christianity at the core of yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, that's what they're doing. That's why this message is vitally yeah. important to your soul. Yeah, they are very, very intent oh, very upon much. changing the gospel of Jesus Christ. And they've done an amazing job. Oh, an absolutely. Incredible Brilliant. job. By wrapping the gospel up and uh, letting certain foundations of the faith, uh, you know, forgetting well, about I, those things. Well, all that stupid talk, oh, that we, yeah. were, we, we were founded in Christianity here. No, 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 no. no. Came from England. England is very big with Freemasonry. Very, 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 very popular. Okay. So number three, hidden. Okay, so we had um, the OK sign, El Diablo, El Diablo, number two. Number three, hidden hand. Mm. Okay, where they hide their hand in, the, in their coat thing. <laughs> yeah, T Ted Cruz they did hit it. it. Okay, so this a, is A bunch called, of people do it. Yeah, this is the hidden hand of the men of Jabalon. The name, oh, now this is the name. Guys, some of these, these meanings are very long, and, and, and I can uh, really, guys, if you have more questions about this stuff, I'd be glad well, to, you know, to I, give you I'll, all this information, yeah, I but find it's a lot. No, I want to find this photo of Donald Trump and Ted Cruz and all the, all the guys that were running for president, and they, was, they were doing the national anthem or whatever, whatever they were yeah, doing, yeah, right? Yeah. And there's Cruz with his hand underneath his jacket. Okay? Yeah. yeah, yeah Come yeah. on, people. Wake up. Pay attention, Christian. Wake up. You're being deceived. And Jesus said, let no man deceive you. <laughs> yeah, we're so, we're so po polarized by these images, the guys that we think are so wonderful, like Trump and Biden and all these people that we worship, yeah, yeah. they don't. They, you, first of all, you don't even know them. You've never been over their house. Mm -hmm. They're not going to have you over their house, okay? <laughs> and and, right. and they're they're yeah. never going to have to want or need for anything in this world because their Masonic pe brotherhood is going to provide for them yeah. 
and our tax dollars are going to pay for their houses and their cars. Who's paying for my house or your house? No, you, you, I got to go get a job just like you. Amen. So it's like stop worshiping these people like they're special. Amen. Please. Woo! Come on. Man. Yes. Amen. All right. So this is what Tex Mars um, described as the hidden hand or uh, uh, meaning. And, and again, you have mm. to, you have, it's a very long and involved uh, oh, yeah. meaning, but is the, it is basically the name and identity of the hidden God that must be concealed at all costs. Mm, and at thus, all costs. and thus an appropriate hand sign has been devised to represent this cover up. Okay. <laughs> so and the cost is we, you. We That's serve a God who is known. They serve a hidden God. So again, there's something really wrong and really twisted Hold on. about that. Jesus Christ was the most transparent human man that ever walked on this earth. He was open. That's right. He didn't he hide did, anything. He said nothing in nothing. secret. Nothing. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's right. So number four, hand mm. on the heart. Mm. Okay. I Has pledge allegiance to number, the flag. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Has a number of meanings depending particularly on the exact placement of the hand and the positioning of the fingers. The sign of hand on heart is practiced and taught in the rituals for many degrees of Freemasonry, at least five different degrees, practices this hand on the, the heart. The fifth degree. <laughs> five different, yeah, five di different degrees, or maybe more. All right, so hand on oh, third degree. I'm giving you heart. the third degree. That's beyond. Okay, third degree is lower masonry. So number six, pointing to the head. I have seen this so much. Pointing to the head. That's five. Is the, number five, is pointing to the head, <laughs> sign of the order of the Mark Master Masons. Mm. Guys, this. When you see these photos, it is, it is undeniable. It is undeniable. Sign of the order of the Mark Master Masons. And these are some of the people that you would have admired and, 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 and have lifted up and have supported and paid money for. Yeah. And this is, yeah. this is what you support. So, yeah. you know, like you're going to get what you deserve, uh, unfortunately, at yeah. the end. Yeah. Because it... it, it because you didn't pay attention to the signs and the symbols that these knuckleheads mm -hmm. have been lying and deceiving you with. It's the facts. You can't argue with exactly. evidence, people. Yeah. We are, this is crystal, we're making this as crystal yeah. clear yeah. as you can get it so that when you see it, you'll go, oh, and, and then you'll be able to discern what is of God and what is not of God. That's You'll, right. So, guys, really listen yeah. to this. Yeah, yeah. it's not a coincidence mm. if it's done repeatedly by many, by a certain group of people who all know each other and are associated with each other. So, I mean, there, there's, there's no coincidence. You know, and, and the thing is that people say, well, why are you talking about... Because Jesus... Was constantly yes, forbidden, right? Making oaths and pledges right. because Matthew you're five thirty three. You're pledging allegiance to another God. God, right? It's not Jesus. It's not God the Father. Okay, guys. That's right. You know, and, and Jesus Matthew five thirty three. Right, and he is. kept warning us over and over and over: do not be deceived. Watch it. Mm -hmm. Watch out for the wolves in cheap clothing. Mm -hmm. Beware of the yeah. wolf in cheap clothing. Be <laughs> We're always, and these people that we're talking about, they run in packs. Just like the music industry, they run in packs. You see these people together at gatherings and in their little secret places that they think. And see, it's very hard to be secret today because everything's video, okay? So there's always somebody with a yeah. cell phone yeah. that's yes. willing to expose some of these clowns, yeah. okay? Yeah. And, I, and, I, and I do mean this in a, in a, in a loving way, clowns. Because that's what they are. It's foolishness. If they, they're the deceiving says, us yeah. or deceiving right. the Christian into believing that this is the way that God intended it to be. 
And I promise you it's not. And if you think about it, who who wants to deceive Christians more than anybody is Satan. And Satan transforms or disguises himself as, as an, an angel, angel of, of light. light. Right. And that's exactly what they talk about in Freemasonry, the light of Freemasonry. That's, that's but the it whole is thing. a illuminate me. False light. Illuminate. The me. light right. bearer Lucifer. Right. That is a false light light and that is not the way to God and they do it through works exactly they threw it through work they believe they will uh, uh, become illuminated yeah. through their well, works and achieve God well, they're, they're gonna get illuminated when the when the Holy Ghost and fire mm -hmm. yeah brimstone burns them to the ground burns them right burns their works to a crisp to yeah. a crisp that's it's right. coming okay we're just All letting you know before this even takes place that you can jump out of it. That's right. You can get yeah. out of this. Yes. You don't have to be a part of this. That's right. And you don't want to be a part of this. Mm -mm. It'll destroy your right. soul. Yes, we're asking you guys, fear God. Right. Instead of fearing man, fear God, okay, who can destroy both body, body and, and soul. soul. Correct. Okay, instead of fearing man. Mm -hmm. All right? So number six, meaning of hand signs. Pain, it's called pain in the neck. Oh, is that one of their phrases? Pain in the neck. What a pain in the neck. Pain in the neck. Oh, my. Pain in the neck. My mother, she said, you're a pain in the neck. You're a pain in the neck. I'm then never going to say father that again. I'm never going to say that again. <laughs> so a number of dictionaries of symbols state that the hand placed on the neck is actually not like a this? nice meaning at all. This one? Signifies sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah. It, this is, How this to relate. Is, this is awful. Yeah. Now, we, guys, we're getting to the nitty-gritty here, okay, of what Fellowship these things rheumatology. mean and what certain people are involved in that they might not know. Um, or now, they do know. Or they do know, yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. Um, now, sacrifice can have at least two meanings. One, the continuing threat of the penalties to be applied to punish the mm. adepts and the in and initiatives who so impertinently reveal the secrets of the order. See, there's a great punishment and penalty for revealing the secrets of the order. And two, the willingness of the individual performing the sign to sacrifice himself for the good of the order or for the good of the cause or great work of the Illuminati or their Freemasonry. So this sign, and you, you'll be able to see it, is um, it's, it's awful. It's awful. You know, I, I, I finished, um, you know, getting this information today, and I cried. I cried. I cry. Yeah, I cry for their souls. Yeah, because we know these Because people. this is so devastating and sad that they put their very lives on the line. In jeopardy. In they put jeopardy. Their faith, they put their faith in jeopardy because they have no faith. What they have is the uh, fear of the Illuminati. Yeah, that's right. That's right. All right, so number seven. Guys, we're wrapping this up, and then we're going to pray for these, these people. Number seven, the neck ritual, which is the hand or thumb under the chin. And I've seen this a lot as well. The ritual for the Grand Master Elect degree, according to the Richardson's Monitor of Freemasonry, has the candidate either placing the point of a knife under the chin or alternately clenching the fingers of the right hand. Guys, it's, I, couldn't even, I couldn't even write the rest of it because it was too gruesome. I didn't even write the rest of it. So it is a penal code. It is a penal code and their punishment if they reveal these secrets. Okay? So this is famously demonstrated by Benjamin Franklin, a Rosicrucian and a Mason, in an oil portrait by David Martin in 1766, which hangs where? over the fireplace in the green room at the White House. We've been there, did we see it? I, I'm, sure, I'm sure we did. Um, yes, it's in the green room at the White House, so I will, I will be putting a picture. 
for you guys to see it. So Franklin, Tennessee is named after Benjamin Franklin. Oh, boy. Yes, 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 yes. I think it's time to move. Whew. All right, guys. Well, guys, we're, we're loving you to the truth. Some of you are going to get this, and some of you are going to want to remain blind to it. But you know what? It's absolutely undeniable. We've been looking at this for six, seven years now. And you know what? It has actually helped heal uh, our journey in the music industry and in many church circles. It has actually given us answers we ask God to, to guide us into all truth. Mm -hmm. And the Lord just dropped this on us. And we were like, oh, okay. Now we understand. Now this all makes sense. The things that didn't make sense. Because we were like, wow, what's wrong with this picture? Sure. And then we were finally able to, to kind of put our finger on and say, ah, oh, okay. Now we understand. And now we know how we can pray for these poor, blind people. And also, we want to give you some information. I think, I think Atian, mm -hmm. I want to have that video available yeah, to I'll, people. Yeah, I'll post that again if it's available. No, I'll right. post it again yes, if it's you know, available. They, they, so I'm sure they took it down. So we're just going to pray really quick. And um, again, Father God, we pray for those who are part of this evil work of darkness. Guys, if there's any of you listening, please, we're pleading for you and we're crying out for your souls and we're praying that God would grant you repentance as he has granted us repentance from our sins. Every man everywhere is commanded to repent. And that, guys, you got to repent for this. You must repent repent for this because God takes covenants really, really, really seriously. And it is a covenant. All right. So we pray, um, Father God, we are praying for those um, that they would come to fear you, O oh God, more than they would fear men. So the true fear of the Lord would be instilled in them, O oh God, and that you would reveal to them the true light, the true light of Jesus Christ and his word. We pray this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, who is the name above all names.